kind of go down the line. How did you guys all just choose Pitt and what, what drew you here? Start with this, I guess. I don't even need this. Uh, I chose Pitt because uh, I had a conversation with the coaching staff, and on my visit, I really got a feel for the guys and their vibe, and it seemed like they were all about winning, and that's all I'm about. So I think it was just a perfect fit for me. Um, the reason I chose Pitt, I had a great relationship with uh, Coach Capel and the rest of the staff, Coach Brown. The opportunity to come here was just amazing, uh, knowing that you had senior guards leaving, the opportunity coming in, the even just prove yourself to even try and play as a freshman. And just the culture around here, you can see on my visit, the momentum shifting. I could see that the team looked great and I really trusted coach in the process. And uh, that's really what, why I decided. Yeah, I mean, it's probably gonna be repetitive. I chose Pitt for a lot of the same reasons. I had a real good relationship with the coaches. They stuck with me uh, through, like the recruiting process, they stuck with me through a, a long time. Uh, just continuous conversations with them, a lot of visits, and they showed a lot of interest in me and uh, ended up showing a lot of interest in them, so I chose the school because of, the, because of that. I'm, uh, I'm Jerry DePaul with the Pittsburgh Trib. Um, last year's team, with all those four guards you mentioned, uh, formed kind of a great kinship with each other, and there was a lot of camaraderie and chemistry going. Do you think you guys can uh, approach something like that? Um, you know, it's just tough to do, I'm sure. Uh, in a short period of time, but by the end of the season, how are you going about trying to get that same feeling? I mean, just every day, uh, coming out to practice and doing what we're supposed to do. Uh, I, I think as the backcourt, we're meshing well. Uh, these guys have been amazing. They've been sponges. They've been just great backcourt partners. And I can't wait for the season to show what we've been working on this, this preseason. But I think it's coming along well, and uh, the season will show that uh, we're going to be special this year. Yeah, for sure. I mean, these two guys, they're, we're this backward. I feel like we're going to do an amazing job this year. I know it's a heavy load to pick up, but we, we know what we have to do. So I feel like those guys from last year, they really set the standard, and we know the standard, and we are trying to just go and accomplish it and more. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I feel you touched on the camaraderie they had last year, and I feel like we can exceed that. I mean, I feel like these guys are my brothers, and I've on them for a couple months. You know, I feel like we definitely mesh well and uh, getting to know each other, not just on the court, but off the court will help us win a lot of games this year. George Michalowski with PSN. Uh, Ish, I want to ask you first, when you guys were in Spain, what did you learn about this group of guards on the team you guys got? Uh, I just learned, I learned a lot about them, like Bob said, on and off the court, but uh, their resilience. I mean, uh, second game in Spain, it was a little rough, but uh, just seeing how they responded to adversity, I mean, Every game this year is not going to be what we want, but uh, I was glad to see that they responded to adversity in a in a great manner, and they were very next play oriented. So that was good that I saw that. What have you guys learned from uh, not only Ish but also Mike coming in uh, as veteran guys, veteran transfers? Even though they haven't been here a while, they've been in the college hoops game for a while. Man, what I've learned from Mike is that you've uh, you got to stay on top of it the whole time. He he came in here from day one, and he he trusts us and. He gave us a reason to trust him right away, and he helps and up uplifts us all the time. And knowing that he's right there for us, uplifting us, especially us two as freshmen the whole time, just shows us the trust that he has in us and that we can depend on him whenever we need to. Yeah, I've learned that just being vocal will help any team, especially from the guard position. You got to be a vocal leader and just continue with talk to uplift whether direct, command, whatever it is, just being vocal, showing your voice, and that'll really help a team because y'all always on the same page. Chris Carter from the Post-Gazette. Um, we heard a lot about how this team has been very role-oriented so far. Everyone's understanding what their job is and how it performs. How have you guys felt you've been coached into your roles, just how you've started here and gotten things going uh, in this fall? I felt like we've been coached perfectly in our roles. We drill every day in practice, what we're going to do in the games, who's going to do what, and when they're going to do it. So I feel like the coaches definitely set that standard for us, and we're gonna, we're meeting it, and we will meet it during the season. Yeah, they are definitely instilling to us, guards, and to everybody on the team, what should be done and what needs to be done to help uh, make this team really good this year. And everybody's on the same page. That's one thing about us that I think will be very good is – Everybody's on the same page. Everybody knows what to do. We all know each other's good trades, bad trades, what we need to work on, and just 
feel like that trust that everybody has around each other will just carry on to the season. Yeah, I think the coaches have done an amazing job, especially on the film side of things, just showing what you need to do in certain situations. So, uh, yeah, they're doing a great job just uh, kind of molding us into the players that we want to be, and it's up to us to do the rest. So. What stands out about him, Milan Brown as a coach and what do you guys like about him? He's very funny. <laughs> He's a very funny guy. But he, he, knows when he, he knows what you have to be able to do from a guard position on the collegiate level. And he's really good at instilling the knowledge from the guard position. And, yeah, he's really good at that. <laughs> he's, he's a fun guy to be around for sure. Um, but he knows when to be serious. And we, we, I feel like as guards, we have a good balance with Coach Brown because he knows what we need to do. And he sees what we can do, and he just, just tries to bring the breath out of us. Yeah, I think it's just great learning from a coach that has been in our position before on the collegiate level at a high level. So like they said, funny guy, great guy to be around, just always great energy. So can't ask anything more from him. What's Blake like as a leader for you guys? He's a very vocal and energetic leader, I would say. You know, he's always bringing the energy, always make sure, making sure that we bring the energy because you can't, you can't do nothing if you stale. You know, and he knows that and he understands that, especially when you have a younger group of guys, they tend to, you know, fall out of line a lot, you know, but he understands that and he, he makes sure that he's vocal and that he makes sure that we're on top of things. Does he get on your butt sometimes? Of course, but I mean, we don't take it personally, you know, you're not supposed to. And he knows that he's trying to win and we trying to win. So you're going to listen. You're going to listen to a guy that's been there before. Bob, you've been listed as a, a shooting guard and a combo guard, you know, throughout high school. Uh, but what about your game makes you think that you can play the point, that you can also step up and, you know, handle the ball for the most time? I, the, the trust that the coaches give me, you know, they put the ball in my hands uh, sometimes, and sometimes, you know, it's I gotta I'm off the ball. But they make they tell me that I can do both, and I they're instilling the confidence in me that I can do both. So I know that I can go and do it on, you know, on at this level. Bob and Jalen, did you guys have kind of, I know it's just practices so far, but did you have kind of a welcome to college moment where you're like, oh, the competition really takes a step up here and it made you realize that? Man, probably, uh, I would say the second, probably second week I was just up here. Actually, maybe the first couple of days I actually came to campus, I was, uh, I think me and Bub and uh, Zach and a couple of the guys were just up here playing around one-on-ones. And we were just, I'm not going to lie, we were just playing one-on-ones, and we weren't doing the best. We saw guys jumping high and just <laughs> stuff wasn't that easy. Ish would come in, came up here. I mean, we were just in the gym with those guys, and we just saw that, like, it's a different level now. Like, guys are a lot stronger. They jump higher. They're longer. So, I mean, that was kind of my welcome to college, just seeing how everything is just on a higher level now for sure. Uh, I would say mine was like around like the first, second week of practice. I got the ball in the wing, Ish is guarding me, and he just kind of took it from me. I was like, yeah, it's different. Like, these guys are a lot stronger, physical. You know, you can't get away with a lot of, you know, lazy things that you could have did in high school. It's just it's definitely a lot more physical. Bob, according to our, our good friend Matt, your name is Carlton. Yeah. Uh, where, did you, where did Bob come from? Uh, it was actually my dad's nickname when he was young, and we have the same name. I'm the third, actually, so naturally any name he got, I got as well. So, you know, growing up, he just a little bub. So you're proud of bub, huh? Yeah, I don't mind. Your dad, yeah. Yeah. But not little bub? Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Were you, were you little bub at one time? Yeah, I was. Like, one time. <laughs> one time. last <laughs> week. Yeah. Ish, I know it's maybe awkward because they're sitting right next to you, but what, what stands out about these two guys in the time you spent with them over the summer and, and so far this fall? I mean, first and foremost, the work they put in, um, it shows on the court for sure. And I couldn't be more proud of these guys. Just the way they, they I said earlier, they're, they're sponges. Anything you have to say, good or bad, they're willing to hear it. And uh, I think this year you guys are going to see that they're a special pair of freshmen for sure. Skill level. I mean, my freshman year, 
I can only speak to myself. I was not at their skill level, so I, I give them praise all the time, and I just try and push them each and every day to exceed the expectations of, oh, man, they're too young. Oh, man, they don't have any experience because I see these guys, I go against them every day, and they're special for sure. So I'm, I'm, I'm watching. I'm proud of these guys every day, and then I hope that uh, this year you guys definitely get to see what we've been, we've been cooking up. Yeah, Jermaine Sykes for the Pit News, kind of echoing off that. Uh, Bub and Jalen, how has it stood up, like, stood up as a leader for you guys like early on throughout the start of your camp and all that? Uh, kind of like I mentioned earlier, he's very vocal. You know, he doesn't let even the slightest thing slides, and he's not scared to say something. He's going to tell us what we're doing, whether it's good or bad, and the willingness to listen to it because, you know, he's been here before. He's been doing it for a long time, he's been doing, and he's been good at it for a long time. So he's not scared to tell us whether it's something we don't want to hear, whether it's something we need to hear. You know, he's always going to be in our ear, and that's what we need, especially since we ain't been here before. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Ish has been that uh, guard leader since the jump, since he got up here. He, uh, as much as he is a vocal leader, he really leads like, by example. So we see Ish, if we need to see what example that we need to work on, and Ish says, like, yo, you need to do this, he'll go and do that right in practice right away and just shows us that way of what we need to do. And he he tells us all the time, just little pointers and tips and tricks and just to tell us to help us get better. And he you could just tell that he trusts us and we really trust him because he's been on this collegiate level for a while. I mean, my bad. I don't <laughs> He's been on it for a little little bit, but uh, yeah, we trust him, and it is, he's been a great leader for us. You don't call him the old man, do you? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> uh, Austin, back to Pittsburgh Sports Now. Uh, Ish, what are some of those things that you try to tell these younger guys throughout the first couple of years of going through your college experience, new to Pitt, but not new to the college game? I mean, one of the biggest things I try to emphasize is defense, because that's something that is, is, is effort, honestly. So if you can't defend, you can't be on the court. So I just preach to them, like, you got to defend. Like, offense is going to come. You guys are very talented, but defense is going to be somewhere that you can just improve on just based on effort. So just always giving 110 on defense is one of the things I try and preach. Jalen Bub, Jeff Hathorn from KDK Radio. Not often freshmen get the opportunity to, that you guys have in front of you, especially to handle the ball. What have you guys done to prepare yourselves for the opportunity, the number of minutes that you guys likely have? Man, I feel like the way we we knew coming in that we would have that opportunity to play on ball and play right away as freshmen. And me and Bob, we stay in the gym. Like, that's that's all we do. Like, y'all, like, nobody will get to, like, only these guys probably know as much, but nobody sees how much we're in the gym. We watch film. We ask questions with the coaches. I mean, we're just eager to learn because we know how big of a responsibility we have this year and to pick up from where we left off last year because that's all we want to do is exceed expectations. We already know what everybody's saying about us. So we have we have the responsibility to put the work in and prove ourselves right and prove others wrong. What part of Pitt's game last year did you, I'm sorry, no, Buff, you mind? Uh, I was just going to touch on, like you said, he mentioned the uh, part about us staying in the gym. I was going to touch on the part, like the film part. Like we're, we are not scared to ask coaches to watch film with us. They bring us up all the time to watch it, and we watch it on our own, just seeing what, how the guards here last year, how they were successful, what were they doing, how other people in the conference play. Like we watch and we watch and we learn. And so I feel like that will help really help us prepare, you know, being younger, but we could still have that advantage for us. What part of Pitt's game last year that you guys identify with that you guys want to replicate in your game this year? It was a completely different team, a lot of older guys, but they had a lot of success. I, I would say like the kind of freer style of basketball. College, for a lot of people, can seem very structured, you know, very like um, just like brick by brick. But I feel like last year watching them, it was, it was like actually fun watching them. You know, they, they played freer. They, they and they, you could tell they really liked each other. They were playing together, extra, a whole lot of extra passes and things like that. And I feel like we definitely fit like that coming from the schools we came from, where it was kind of the same way, you know, AAU and stuff like that. It was the same way, just playing. Yeah, those guys really set the the blueprint, and 
the way that we know how Coach Capel coached them last year, like Bub said, like they played really free. It seems free, but like there is a little bit of structure for sure. But the way that Coach Capel structures it, it makes us seem like at a free pace and level. So I feel like we've just watched that and they've helped film just uh, we've watched film over it, so we know how to how to attack and do a couple of those things that those guys did last year. Yeah, I see the V shirt you have on. You guys talked about the cohesion on and off the court. Deb, for Ish and Bob, a year tied back to Maryland. Do you think that helps you, like, oh. have some like more cohesion or? Oh um, no. Uh, what do you think? I mean, I I think it definitely helps. You know, there's a lot of things we relate to, but like since I'm from Baltimore. He's not. So it's like, you know, it's like, so it's like naturally we're supposed to be, you know, enemies or whatever, but it's just something that we relate to. We talk about, you know, often. It's never any, like, you know, beef or anything like that. <laughs> no, nah, it's great having having a familiar face. Uh, before I even met Bob, actually, I saw him play. He was cooking. So it's just nice to have somebody from, from around the way, from a, a familiar area, or kind of familiar. But it's just nice to have a familiar face for sure. Not too familiar, yeah, not too familiar. No, no, yeah. We might have played on the same AU team and all that. So, yeah, it's definitely nice. the same AU team? Team Durant, yeah. yeah. Different age groups, though. Yeah, you, yeah. you said you saw him play and he was cooking. Yeah, he's you yeah. on your team? No, no, no. It was, <laughs> it was on the organization that I was playing for at the time. Yeah. Well, what, what does cooking mean? What, what did he do? <laughs> he was uh, scoring a lot of bats. <laughs> <laughs> Marius and Nelly and Greg were all around this summer for a little bit um, before they kind of went off to do their thing. But did you guys get to hang out with them or play with them, work out with them? What was what was that like? Yeah, for sure. I mean, those guys, um, they were around for a good bit. They they taught us a lot. They said anything they could say to help us for this um, incoming year as freshmen, as new guys coming into the conference. And those guys are really great to be around. They. They don't have anything against nobody. It's always fun and learning from them. They really, those are our big bros for sure. And just the little time that we spent from them, those guys, we were always around them. They were always in the gym with us. And it was just great being around them. Yeah, I mean, they, even like some of the drills they did together, like we kind of stole from them the drills that we do now after practice. Like they were really, like our mentors, even for the short amount of time they were there, they really, and they made sure that they, were available for us, you know, like I still FaceTime these dudes and they're 17 hours away, you know, I st we still talk all the time and it's, it was definitely like a, you know, a big brother kind of thing. For Jalen and Bob, last time we were here, Jeff talked about how you guys are both coaches' sons. What do you think are the benefits or advantages of having your dad coach you, you know, throughout your childhood when you're in Houston, you're in Baltimore, you know, what were the advantages of that? So, I feel like the advantages, man, just, Having somebody around that knows the game that you're playing and that has been there before. Not a lot of kids growing up or players get to really be around somebody that close who has played and seen the things that we're going through. And I feel like that was just a huge part in how we got to this point because it's just not the same for everybody. I feel like we're really grateful for that because we get taught lessons that a lot of other kids don't and we get chances that chances to prove ourselves because our parents have been there and they they tell us what to expect and things like that. Yeah, it's like almost, it's like you're always walking around with a head start. You know, like he, like, they always in, in, instilled in us what we're gonna see on the court, off the court, like in locker rooms, what we're gonna see on the college level. Like a lot of things that I'm doing now in college, I've been shown before, I've been told before, and it's kind of like always just having that head start because you know, they, they coached it before, they've been here before. So, Baltimore, Houston, PG County, what's y'all first impressions of Pittsburgh so far? I love it, man. <laughs> it's no complaints for me, except like the potholes on the road, those must be crazy. <laughs> but uh, I love it here, coming from Rhode Island, totally different, like almost a 360 from city to kind of rural area, but man, I have no complaints. Uh, I'm loving Pittsburgh so far with the guys. Man. It's, it's been a little awakening a little bit. I mean, y'all don't want to say it's cold outside right now, but it's pretty, <laughs> it's a little chilly outside to me. But I mean, P 
Pittsburgh has been great so far. Everybody's welcoming and warming. The city is amazing. Uh, it was not my first thoughts of what Pittsburgh would be like. So I'm, I'm really surprised and I'm glad to be here. But it is, uh, it's a little different from Houston though. I mean, they live up to their cold, you know. It's definitely cold, but it's not what I expected. You know, Pittsburgh is definitely just a better place to be than I expected it would. You a Ravens fan? Of course. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> okay. for, for all, all three of you guys, maybe, uh, do you feel maybe a little bit fortunate that you, you've been able to play college sports in this name and vision like this era? Do you feel like this is, you guys are have like a special privilege that other guys haven't had? Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people before us would have loved to be in our positions as far as NIL goes, but it's a blessing. Um, that's it for all. It's just a, it's just a blessing to have that and use it to our to our liking and use it however we want to use it. Yeah, for sure. To grow up in this time where we are able to just brand ourselves, really, it's just great because not many athletes and more popular names had then we weren't able to get through this. So it's just been great to go through this opportunity with NIO now with the college game changing. Yeah, I'm definitely fortunate for being in this era. You know, it's not, ain't nothing wrong with having a few more dollars in your pocket, you know, just for playing basketball. <laughs> you guys have a, a top shooter so far, like amongst you guys, like, like man, that guy just keeps knocking, knocking him down in practice. Is that shooter, top shooter? Yeah, like if there's a, if there's a guy that they, whenever you guys seem to kick him the ball, he hits the most shots right now, or is that still kind of being figured out? Uh, Blake Henson <laughs> can really shoot the ball. <laughs> Carlton Carrington. Jalen Lowe. <laughs> Ishmael Elijah Leggett. <laughs> nah, they're, we're definitely all playing well, though. I feel like it's not, none of us are bad shooters for sure. Y'all you, you see that during the season.